Hi, this is Mary from Open Helix, a division of BioIT World, with this week's video tip of the week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, please be sure to come back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resource I'm talking about today, links to publications associated with it, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. For today's tip, though, we are actually going to be turning to the openhelix.com website. We've recently redesigned our website, and I want to show you how to effectively use it to access training materials that will help you to find the relevant resources, learn how to use them, and deliver your research more quickly and more successfully. So we'll turn to openhelix.com in a browser now. So here we find ourselves on the new openhelix.com website, and you can see you have access to our content in a number of different ways. Over on the left side, we've got navigation buttons that will quickly take you to the most important features. We have navigation buttons across the top that will also help you to access the information. And we've integrated more of our content right into our homepage here. So you can see our very popular video tips of the week are available here, as well as other blog content. We also provide links to BioIT World from here as well. But what I want to do is focus on how to get you to access the information that you want in our tutorial materials. We provide tutorials on over a hundred different resources because we want you to learn to use bioinformatics resources. You can search or access our content in a variety of ways. What I'm going to do is quickly click the first button here, the catalog button, to give you a kind of overview of the kind of material that we've got. Clicking the catalog button here takes you to a new page with the complete list of tutorials that we've got available. Now some of these are available by subscription. The ones that are red are available by subscription. The ones that are in green are freely available, like this one here, Free Tutorial Functional Glycomics Gateway. So you can get a sense of the kind of material that we offer by checking out these free tutorials. So I'm going to click the Free Tutorials button here, or you could access this from the top page as well, to give you a sample of what those materials are like. So I'll click the Free Tutorials button now to access more information about the ones that are sponsored by the providers that you can see here. They make their materials available free for everyone to have a look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at one particular one. We're, we're going to take a look at the uh, UCSC Genome Browser Introduction materials, but all of the materials that we provide are structured in a similar manner. If you click the link to the UCSC Genome Browser Introduction from here, you'll access that page for the tutorial suite. I'll click that now. So here we find ourselves on the Introduction to the UCSC Genome Browser Tutorial Suite page. We've got a number of things that are available here. First of all, we've got a movie. This movie would be running. Of course, I'm recording this movie now, so I can't have this movie running. But you can see here that I'm on the third chapter of this movie. There's a number of different chapters available. You could click quickly to any of the content that you want here. So this movie would provide you an overview of how to use the UCSC Genome Browser and the structural information that's available on a given UCSC page, for example. One of the things that's different from our previous site is now you can watch the movie right here. You don't have to click the Launch button to do that. However, we still have the Launch button available. If you want to see this in the larger original size, you can click the Launch button to do that. We continue to make our slides available. So the same material that's available in this movie is available on PowerPoint slides, which you can use to run a local workshop if that's what you want to do. Or you can use some of our slides in your existing classroom content if you want to incorporate that as well. You can download slide handouts. So the PDF that's available from these slide handouts are handy for taking notes. Another thing you have access to is exercises. So some of the things that we cover in the tutorial, we have additional exercises to help you reinforce that material and understand exactly what we were doing step by step. So hands-on exercises will offer you that. You can also link directly to the website. So from this button here, you could access the UCSC Genome Browser if that's what you wanted to do at this point. After you've learned how to do more things, you can go try them out right at UCSC. In addition to what's available in the top area here, we've got tutorial-related content available down below. If you wanted to go further with your UCSC Genome Browser training, we also have advanced topics training as well. So you could click this link to go to the landing page for that tutorial suite. If you're interested in other genome browsers or other types of related information, you could try the categories that we've got available here. Another thing that's challenging in this field is staying current with the information. So the folks at UCSC are always releasing new features and new tools, and very frequently we will highlight those in our video tips of the week. So here you can see we had a, a tip recently on their Genome Browser in a Box virtual machine that they released. So we provide information on how to use that. And when they released their Ebola portal, we also provided a tip about that. So the blog post will help you to stay current with what's going on at these websites too. Another thing that people are often interested in is how are other researchers using these tools? to accomplish what they want to do. 
what we do is we have a column here that searches the Biomed Central publications to find out if someone has mentioned UCSC Genome Browser or their, their website link. And then we collect those here so you can see recent publications that are associated with folks who have used or cited the UCSC Genome Browser. That's another way to understand how people in the field use this particular tool. At OpenHelix, we provide this information so you can learn how to use these resources effectively and advance your research. One other thing I'll mention quickly, there's a search option too. And besides the lists of tutorials that we've got available, you may find yourself wanting to search for a, another tool. I'll just give you one example of a tool that we talked about recently on our blog. We talked about the Aquaria new resource that's just become available recently. If you heard about Aquaria in a presentation or something, you might want to search for information about that. Here, if I click the search button, you'll have access to our blog posts where we talk about Aquaria right here. In addition to that, if we've got video tips available, in this case there are two video tips associated with that, we make those available too. If there's a free tutorial associated with that, in this case there is because in our blog post we noted that the folks at the Aquaria tool are talking with the UCSC Genome Browser to see if they could integrate their information onto the UCSC Genome Browser tracks. And so the UCSC Genome Browser is a related tutorial in this case, and you can access that from our free tutorials page. The search will give you access to our large database of resources, some of which we have tutorial suites on, some of which we'll have tips on, some of which will be freely available, as you can see here. So if you're interested in learning more about using any of these tools that we've got here, you can check out the numerous ways to access that information. And if you're interested in some of the ones that are available by subscription, you can learn more about how to subscribe from our subscribe button that's available right on our pages. So I hope that gives you an introduction to how to use the new OpenHelix.com website to access the materials that you need to train yourself or to train others so that you can learn how to use bioinformatics resources effectively. Thanks very much for your time.